Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I have a super exciting video today. Today, we're gonna get into my favorite products of all time, products that I cannot live without. We are gonna go from start to finish, my entire routine, products that I recommend with my life, and products that I think you need to try if you haven't already. First, can we talk about these nails? You can kind of tell in here, it's like this super pretty green color, but it's got like pink reflex. And this eye too right now, it's like a gray, sultry, like smoky eye. It's fucking stunning, first of all. And then this like kind of cool tone pink I have going on with this lip. Like girl, I am living for this right now. I mean, you wanted to make this kind of like a challenge. Like, oh, if I only had like $100, like what would I repurchase if I lost all my makeup today? Then the other part of me was like, are challenges really even a thing anymore? Do people really do challenges? Um, so I'm more than happy to do that. So let me know in the comments what you think of them. I'm just gonna run through like every product. I'm really gonna try to only pick one, like one of my favorites. I'm not gonna run through like a million. So it's gonna be a little tricky, but not really for some, but for some products it's gonna be tough. So my first step in a makeup routine would be to do my primer. So it was tough to decide which primer is my favorite because I use primers for different things. But if I really had to say, my favorite primer of all time would definitely be this Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is absolutely amazing it is their blur jam it is the silicone free smoothing primer it's this almost every single time I do my makeup and it just really smooths really blurs it really does what it says it's supposed to do it makes any foundation I wear look amazing and it's just like my go-to it's my tried and true I've been using this for quite a while now over a year for sure um, but I grab for this every single time so next would be my eyebrows so this was like a no-brainer for me my favorite brow product product ever is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. You have guys have seen me use this and talk about this so much. This is like $7 I want to say. Could be more. I'm always so off. My last video I did showed me how much I don't realize I actually spend on products because I was off every single time. This is everything. I use this on my brows today and it just really helps give like that lifted and laminated look and it's just stunning. This lasts all fucking day. When it comes to brow gel, it's also NYX, the NYX Brow Glue. I have the original one, just the um, transparent, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, translucent. Yeah, just like doesn't give any color. So this one I use on my brows to set every single time. And then this is the tinted one. This one is in medium brown. I love using this. If you ever see my reels on Instagram or my videos on TikTok, I use this a lot on days I don't really have time to do my brows and I just literally get them the laminated look and last all day. It's super cute, so quick. It's like express brows and it takes literally like a minute to do. So absolutely love both of these and these are inexpensive as well. Next would definitely be my lashes. The ones I'm wearing today, they are so pretty, so cute. I absolutely love, love, love these. These are the No Blessy. I want to say No Bless or No Blessy by Kiss. Really don't know how to say it, but these are everything. These are my favorite lash. It's long enough and it's wispy enough, but it has just enough at the t like the root there. It just looks so pretty. It's my go-to lash. I get so many compliments when I wear these because people are always like, they're just long enough, but they're not too much and they just look stunning. And it was, my original before these was definitely Royal Silk by Kiss. I love Kiss lashes. Ardell lashes have kind of like gone to the wayside for me. I really have grown into Kiss lashes and they are just everything. I always get mink lashes and these are definitely my favorite. If I could only buy one more pair for the rest of my life, it would be these here. I feel like you either swear by white glue or you're a black glue girl for lashes. I have to say, I love black glue. This is the duo, duo by Ardell. I have used black glue for years. I've been applying lashes for years. Ever since I was 15, I've been wearing lashes. I'm 24 now, which is great to say, but I've been wearing lashes for almost 10 years and this is just my tried and true. The white glue, like it just does nothing for me. Kind of dries funky. You can see it on your band. Like nothing gives me like the ick more with makeup when I see a girl wearing lashes and I can see the glue. I'm just like, Ooh, like girl. This definitely takes a little bit to get used to if you're not used to applying 
um, eyelash glue. I would say start off with the white one and then work your way to this. So next would definitely be mascara as well. So my favorite mascara of all time is definitely the Lash Idol. I be believe it's Idol by Lancome. This is a travel size. I actually ran out of my big one and I've just been using this one up. But this is just everything. This mascara, like my lashes are very straight and they're very little. This mascara actually will lift my lashes and gives me like anything it can. Like it's like my lashes need all the help in the world and they always fall, but this always keeps them up and this just looks so nice. It separates from my lashes well, gives them a nice fan on effect. I've never really been a mascara girl because I, I've always just been a lash girl ever since I started wearing makeup. So this was really tough for me to pick an eyeshadow palette that I would say is like my tried and true forever. I use so many different eyeshadow palettes for so many different things. And this is a tough one for me, guys. Like I really don't want to cheat and show you two. I think I'm gonna go with this one here, you guys. Listen, this is the Jaclyn Hill Dear Mom palette. I used this today for the full palette. This is such a nice, versatile palette. It gives you so many different colors. You can go so many different ways with this. She really just absolutely nailed this color scheme. I know Jaclyn Hill is kind of one of those people who it's controversial. I can't really say I use a ton of her products. I've really only tried this from her and a highlight, which is still sickening. Like, take her away from it. Her brand, um, like, this is a good product. These eyeshadows blend so nicely. And like I said, you can go so many different ways with this. I would say it's this one, but I don't know. This, this palette, it's cute or whatever. But like, I don't know. It just doesn't like just doesn't give how this one gives. And like, I think I would reach for this one over this one. If you've never tried this palette before, definitely get your hands on it. It was expensive. And when I worked at Ulta, I actually got this for free um, because I didn't want to spend like 50 fucking dollars on an eyeshadow palette. I still think that's a little nuts, but this is definitely worth it. So after I would do all of that, I normally would carve out my eyebrows and I use two different concealers to carve out my eyebrows and then another one for like my under eye and everything. So I have to show you two because I use them for two different reasons but so the one I use to carve on my eyebrows is the elf hydrating camo concealer this is the satin finish this is really nice people say this is a dupe for the born this way but it can be a dupe but this crease is like fucking crazy underneath my eyes and this one baby like she does her thing like she works for her money <laughs> This is just everything. This is amazing. I use this to highlight and specifically under my eyes and it just does the damn thing every single time. It doesn't crease, takes hours for it to even start creasing and it gives me such nice coverage. It blends like a dream. So this is definitely a dupe if you don't want to spend the money, but I would buy both and use them for two different reasons. For foundation, y'all. I looked through like the 20 different foundations that I have. I have light coverage, I have tinted moisturizers, I have full coverage, I have glowy, like literally you name it, I have a foundation for every occasion. But I have to say, I tried this the other day and it makes every other foundation I have look like shit. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. This, I'm wearing this today, first and foremost, one, I wish I got the shade lighter than me. This is 129. I should have gone with one shade lighter. I do have a little bit of a tan going on. It matches, but I just wish it was a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go back and grab the other shade, but keep this one too to like mix in. But this, like I, where has this been all my life? Like this gives you a nice glow, but it's lightweight and it gives such good coverage. It doesn't clog your pores. It makes you look smooth. Like this is like everything you want in a foundation. It covers really nicely as well. So for contour, the no brainer, it's the Makeup Revolution one, their cream bronzers. This blends so nicely. It doesn't make you look muddy. You can do it on top of foundation, before foundation. Like this is just everything. It's so nice. I use this literally almost every single time I do my makeup. For liquid blush, my favorite would definitely have to be this NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush. This is honestly like my favorite liquid blush I've ever tried. I've tried creamy bronzers, like my favorite cream bronzer would probably be from Fenty, but this, I grab for this every single day. This is so versatile. I use this, I combine it with different blushes. I use it on its own for a nice glow when I'm barely wearing makeup. I did this on before I did this. Like it's just so pretty. Once I have most of my no, once I have all my liquid products on, that's when I would move on to my setting powder. 
powder. So my favorite setting powder of all time, this is the Huda Beauty. This is her Pound Cake Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Sorry, I was reading it while I was doing it. Hopefully you could see it. But this is everything. This is so blurring and smoothing but it just looks so just nice and it lasts all day. It keeps my makeup on all day. Like any makeup I wear, this helps keep it on even with my oily skin. This is just so nice. You can bake with it. You can just wipe it, like do a little dusting and it's so pretty. This is my favorite one ever. For under my eyes, this, <laughs> that's taken a beating. This like fell off and I've been like having it literally be held on by scotch tape, but this product is sickening. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I use this for under my eyes and as you can see like it's just super smoothing it looks so pretty it gives me a nice like brightening effect and I absolutely love this I take this with like a, a brush and right after I'm done I just pop that in there and it just looks so good you're going to have a little bit of creasing no matter what anybody says but certain products can help minimize that look and not give you extreme creasing and this is definitely one of them now for blush this one's tricky because I do like a different blushes but the one I grab for ever since I bought it like years ago I grab for this every day this is the Natasha Denona bloom highlighting blush I think you can still get this there is a bigger version I believe and then I believe there's a travel size version version in Sephora like that little line the little stuff right before you get to the cash register register um but it's so pretty it's just it gives the nicest sheen it's pigmented like she's pigmented but it just works with so many different types of looks and blushes and it's just so pretty when we get into bronzer i've gone through so many different bronzers over the years and i don't know like years ago i would have said my favorite is probably from the kat von d palette but I've been using this for years. This is my favorite. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer. It is, this is in medium. It's just to the point, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It doesn't muddy anything. It doesn't like, you can build this up. And like I said, it's not gonna look muddy. It just looks very pretty. It's just the nice little flush of color. And this is just my favorite bronzer. Some bronzers are way too pigmented. This one, I like that you can build it up, but it is pigmented when you put it on. Like, I don't know, just kind of the perfect bronzer in my opinion. For highlighter, I've always been a huge highlighter girl. I've loved highlighter all the way back from like 2016 when highlighter was the thing when you wanted to look like a glazed donut and this has been my tried and true highlighting palette for years <laughs> i have repurchased this one time i believe it's limited edition i don't think you get your hands on it anymore which is such a fucking shame because this is the best highlighting kit of all time this is the anastasia nicole guerrero glow kit first of all nicole was the girl who taught me how to do makeup i used to watch her videos all the time back in the day i loved her i wanted to be her she was just like everything and when she came out with this i had to snatch that shit up so this is what the kit looks like if you've never seen it it is it's just so many pretty shades they're so versatile for any time of the year you can have the pink when you're doing a cute blush moment that's like an icy color then you have like these darker tones for a darker skin tone gold color it's kind of like it, it, it's just everything they're so pretty and i grab for this all the time it looks just absolutely stunning this is the best highlighting kit i think i've ever used and i will continue to use this nicole girl if you see this talk to anastasia at anastasia you guys need to like do a redo with this you need to put this back out lip products are a whole different ball game i use so many different types it would be so hard to say this is my favorite one so i'm going to show you my favorite lip combo i'm not wearing it today but i'm wearing a version of it but so my favorite lip combo like my favorite lip pencil ever is definitely the nyx lip pencil and nude truffle this is the best one it's so pretty i love this so much and then what i do after i pop on new truffle i would go in with the mac lip cream sheen and peach blossom it's this really pretty like pinky peach color it's a little bit more cool tone but i do that and then right in the middle i top a nyx butter gloss this is in fortune cookie and it's kind of like this like i have it on now it just really helps brighten and it just looks so pretty and cute just to run through some of my favorite lip products i'm trying to keep it very simple so a really nice like lip balm like a glossy balm that's my favorite i would definitely have to say is the laneige ones i used to say laneige i think it's laneige these are everything i use this every day it's like 
it has a nice like thicker texture but it's not too thick and it's not sticky like this is my favorite I'm gonna do a rapid fire one when I'm like bare face and I just want like a little something on my lips I love the Kopari Shocker lip glossy and clear this is super cute and then some of my favorite lip glosses ever this is the Too Faced hangover pillow balm this is in mango kiss this is my favorite ever it's this super pretty like orangey peachy tone and it really just like brings out certain colors like it wouldn't work today but with like a nice like glowy look like a very like sun-kissed glowy look like this is really cute and then my two other favorites this is the tower 28 shine on lip jelly and pistachio it's just like super cute very versatile and you can wear this with so many different looks and then this is the fenty beauty cream in cupcake in this is such a pretty pink color it's very pigmented but it's super cute and i would have to say these are probably like my favorite lip product last but not least my favorite setting spray of all time is the stay all night micro fine setting mist of the 16 hour wear from elf this is amazing this makes all the high-end ones look like shit I and mean, i tried so many different ones but there is nothing like this one this one is so nice it's such a nice fine like spray and it just makes my makeup last all damn day and it really helps like melt your makeup into the skin it just looks so nice and this is my favorite one and it's so inexpensive and it works like a charm but okay guys that is it for me i ran through my tried and true products from top to bottom in and out those are my favorite products that i recommend with everything in me they work so well in my opinion i think that they are amazing and i think you should get your hands on it i have fun filming these type of videos i think like i in my other video i mentioned i could talk about product all day that is so true i could literally talk about product all damn day and it's so fun for me to kind of break it up and do videos like this so if you like this video please let me know in the comments please let me know if you're gonna try any of these out or if you already love these as well and uh, yeah i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video if you have not followed me already on my makeup instagram it as dust to dawn glam i'm gonna put that somewhere in here also go follow my tiktok at dust to dawn glam as well and yeah i will catch you guys soon in my next video please let me know in the comments what you want to see from me and yeah love you guys thank you for watching Mwah. talk to you soon <laughs> catch you soon i don't know <laughs>